Hi there. This is Soman and you're watching the Genesis YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about a problem in which a chain falls onto a table from a height. The problem goes like this. A thin uniform chain of length L and linear mass density lambda is held vertically straight such that the lower end of the chain is at a height h from a horizontal table. The chain is released from rest. The situation is shown in the figure. The instant when the bottom end of the chain hits the table, that is when this end of the chain hits the table here, that instant is taken to be t is equal to zero. Find the magnitude of force experienced by the table as a function of time t till the instant when the chain is falling on the table. That is, as long as the chain keeps falling on the table, find the force as a function of time. Also find this force at the instant when the whole chain has fallen onto the table. Assume that the chain does not form a heap on the table. In this figure, the situation at some time t after the chain hits the table has been shown. Now in this, Vr is root under 2gh plus gt, where root under 2gh is the speed with which the lower end hits the table and after time t, the speed of the chain will be root under 2gh plus gt. Now, the amount of chain that falls through will be integral Vr dt. Now, why I am writing it as Vr, you will understand. As of now, just understand it to be the magnitude of the velocity. So, whatever amount falls from here, slides in here. Now, we have our variable mass system equation. This equation states m dv by dt will be f external plus v relative dm by dt. Now, in this, we have to first choose the variable mass system. I am choosing the variable mass system to be this fallen part of the chain that is in contact with the table. And taking normal xy axis like this, I will apply this equation along the y direction for this fallen part. I repeat, I'll apply this variable mass equation in the y direction for this fallen part. Now, if we start applying this in the y direction, this fallen part has no acceleration and so the left hand side m dv by dt becomes zero. The net external force is nothing but the normal force minus the mg force. So normal force is upward, so I have writing, written it positive and mg will be lambda into the length, that is the mass, this whole thing is the mass, into g. That is normal minus the mg of the fallen part of the chain. Plus, if the speed of this part which is falling is vr, then with respect to this variable mass system, its velocity will be minus vr. So vr vector is this. Now for the part dm by dt dm by dt is the mass rate and therefore we can write it like this dm by dt will be lambda times dx by dt where, where dx is that part of the chain which is about to enter into this variable mass system. So this simply becomes lambda times vr and substituting this here for dm by dt we get this one. Now, I suggest you write this expression in terms of uh, Vr first, the normal force, and simplify, perform this integration. It's not a very difficult thing, and you will get this answer. Now, for the second part of the question, they're asking what is the normal force when the full chain is now on the table? So, what you have to do is, you can definitely put the time, but it will be slightly cumbersome. What I would rather suggest is that you find the v value at the time when this completely falls and instead of time you can simply write it as v is equal to root under 2g h plus l square root right so for the second part you can easily use the vr term because this is lambda vr and for the first part you can find the time and you can substitute it to it when you do this, you will get the final normal force when the full chain is here as lambda LG into 3 plus 2H by L. So this is the first part of the answer and this is the second part of the answer. If you like this problem, like, subscribe and share widely. 
and as usual till the next time stay safe and stay healthy you all